Hi, welcome back. This is Learn Payload CMS with Colin. That's me, Colin Brown. I am doing a, for this brand new channel, I am doing a series called My First 100 Videos. And the reason for that is because I want to uh, get comfortable uh, learning payload for myself, but also to be able to communicate various topics. And so I just want, my only goal is to not get uh, you know, thousands of subs subscribers, but my, my first goal is to at least produce my first 100 videos. So at least it's uh, something that I have control over and something that's achievable. And then once that's done, we'll see where the channel goes from there. But um, for now, what I'm doing is I'm walking through Payload CMS step by step. Today, with this video at least, what I want to do is um, go through a little bit in more detail uh, hopefully within, you know, within less than 15 minutes, um, go into more detail about uh, databases. I know people tend to brush over that uh, quite a bit, and um, I think it might be a worthwhile video to show you what uh, databases I connect to um, and then how to connect it to a payload CMS app. So what I'm going to be using is Postgres. And in order to get it set up on your machine, I'm using a tool called DB Engine, and you can go there, dbengine.com, dbengine.com, and it's made by, it's made by Table Plus. Table Plus is the, the database app that I use to connect to my, to my databases for a variety of projects. And so you can download this, it's, it's free. Yeah, so I'll get it running. We'll get, we'll get Postgres running, and then um, we'll connect it to a payload app. So enough talking, I'll get started. So we'll just go to DB Engine. I've already downloaded and installed it. I have it running. It's in here in my toolbar. I don't have any services running. Uh, it, sh it happens to show some of my homebrew stuff, but you don't need that. Um, so you just hear it's in either in the toolbar or you can go to... Uh, you can open it up, uh, open desktop app, go to new, create a new database server. You can go MySQL, Postgre Postgres, and I'm going to give it a name. I will call it, a, uh, we'll just call it Postgres. And the default port is 5432. And uh, let's see, automatically start service on login. Latest version. Downloading. Okay, you can now open it right up in Table Plus. Open it up, and we have the default database, but let's uh, copy the connection string. Uh, I think there was, I thought there was a way to do that. I think what you can right click on this maybe connection oh, copy as URL that's what you want you want to copy as URL what I'll what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install a fresh a fresh payload app just for the purpose of this video and then in other my next videos I'll, I'll be continuing on my my uh, project in progress but just for this I'm going to start a new one and we'll go to payload installation create payload app
project name Postgres demo. We're going to start a blank project. We're going to do Postgres SQL. And then we're going to copy this URL. I believe. I'm going to remove all of this. Okay. Most of this is uh, not incredibly important. Um, but I do want to change the database name to um, date progress demo, Postgres demo. And you can see there's no password. Let's see if that works. Okay, CD Postgres demo. Yeah. You can see it added it to the uh, the dot env file. So let's open this up. And then Yep, you can see it's been added. Now if we open up the uh, browser let's run the server um, pnpm dev if you go into uh, your package JSON you can see your scripts and um, the one that we're going to be using primarily for development is dev so we'll just run um, pnpm dev and it started on port 3000 it is ready so now Now we're going to get a 404. Oh, wait, no. Uh, interesting. This is new. I chose the blank template. You can see here, I chose a blank te template, and it actually gave me a home page. It usually doesn't do that. Um, well, that's that's helpful. I just installed this a few days ago, and it didn't. Uh, this must be a brand new, a brand new feature. That's pretty helpful. It, it gave me a. Um, it stubbed out a front end for me. And we can see what that looks like. Yeah, before I didn't have this front end at all. It added a styles and everything. Interesting. It didn't include Tailwind, I don't think, but um, that's fine. We'll, 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 uh, we'll clean all this out. But... We're here to learn about getting it connected to Postgres. And so we have to create our first user. Password, password. Okay, well, it looks like it's connecting to a database let's make sure it's connecting to our database um, over in over in here double click on that and we'll open this up and there it is it did so payload does create your database for you if you do not have it yet it initializes it just so you know yeah so uh, here it is Need this here is the the first set of tables from a blank from a blank install blank template install of payload CMS 
These are the tables that you get out of the box, including your first user, uh, a media table, and some other um, administration items. So great, great. So that's it for this. I want I just wanted to quickly go over the database, getting it connected to payload CMS and um, how to install Postgres using DB engine from Table Plus. There are a few other ways to um, install Postgres. If, if uh, you're interested in learning more about that, let me know and uh, I can, I'll be happy to go through uh, the different options to get you connected to Postgres in uh, you know, all, the, all the different ways. So thanks a lot. That's it for now and uh, we'll see you next time.